In today's video, we are going to go over how to link your VRBO calendar to your Airbnb calendar. I made a video on how to do this about a year or two ago, and since then I've got a lot of questions on how to do it again, so I'm going to make an updated video on how to link the calendars right now. So first things first, you need a VRBO listing, so if you haven't already made one, then this is your cue to do so. It's pretty easy, uh, just go through the whole questionnaire, add your photos, add your pricing, add all those good details. Shouldn't take you too much time, especially if you already have the Airbnb listing. Organize your photos in the best way possible. Uh, pro tip, definitely hire a professional photographer to take these photos. It is worth the investment. Now, once your listing is up and running, you will see this important export tab up here above your calendar. Click that and then you'll see this box to put a new calendar URL. So now we're gonna move over to Airbnb and find that URL. So now you are in your Airbnb hosting dashboard you want to click on listings, which will be located underneath more. Once you're in your listings, you'll see everything you have Go underneath pricing and availability. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see export calendar. You are going to click that and copy the URL that it provides you. Go back to VRBO and paste that URL you just copied and make sure you have the book option check that way vrbo will block off any dates that are already booked on airbnb and vice versa go ahead and give your imported calendar a name i would recommend naming it airbnb and whatever that listing is because if you have multiple listings this can get a little confusing now you are going to export the vrbo calendar so go ahead and click export calendar copy the link go back to your airbnb listing dashboard and click import calendar go ahead and paste the vrbo url you just copied right into there give it your name i'd recommend naming it vrbo and that's it import calendar and now both calendars have been exported and imported on each platform now as you see here i already have a booking for this one listing for january 5th and 6th now if we go over to the vrbo calendar you will see it is already blocked off preventing anybody else from booking it and here's another example of vrbo already blocking out any confirmed bookings on airbnb as you can see here this one is already booked for February 21st to the 23rd and on the Airbnb calendar yes it is already booked now an example of a booking already confirmed on VRBO is right here Wednesday May 4th to May 11th now, here's the interesting thing VRBO shows a conflict here because it thinks there's another booking on the same dates which there technically is based off what you're seeing but the conflict is with the other Airbnb calendar. This is because we imported this VRBO calendar to the Airbnb platform and also imported the Airbnb calendar to the VRBO platform. So technically, I guess you only have to do it one way. You don't have to do it both ways, but I just want to cover all my eggs to be safe. There was no double bookings. But as you can see here, it shows that the imported calendar is being conflicted with this current calendar. But if we go over to Airbnb, it's already blocked off. And these dates are blocked off because of the imported calendar from VRBO. So I think what's going on is VRBO is seeing that there is a imported calendar here of blocked off dates from Airbnb and it thinks it's conflicting with it even though it's not. I'm sure if I removed one of the calendars off one of these platforms that would solve the issue but honestly I don't really mind because I can look at this and know what my bookings are and most of my traffic is coming from Airbnb because as of now I only have one listing on VRBO just to test it out. And this is just to show you what it looks like again when you have a already booked confirmation on Airbnb show up on your VRBO calendar. As you can see this one starts May 20th and ends on May 20th second for two nights we go over to our airbnb calendar may 20th ends may 22nd two nights and that's pretty much it hopefully this video was short and simple enough hope it made sense to you guys and good luck on your hosting thanks for watching if the video did help you out at all i would highly appreciate a like it really helps out the channel and i'll see you next time peace